Charlotte here at Liverpool Film Festival. I'm joined with Giorgio Guernier, the director and producer of the brilliant Suburban Steps. The evening was okay, very nice, very quiet. Nothing was open after 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. You. It was Artwood, one of the older brothers of Romwood, and he found this place. In the so film, it's back, a music documentary uh, about London's sense. first Read so and Blues Club, uh, which opened up in, in Ealing, so which is the suburbs, in the 1960s. And, and uh, it's a place um, which was recently defined by Mojo Magazine as the cradle of British rock. Because of, you know, so they, there, there was, was some sort of a pub for young musicians, and they sort of had their take on the blues, on the American blues. And then you had, you know, these people, you know, the stones, the who, and the animals, and all these people kind of that I realized that. There's obviously so many legendary artists that have performed at the club. Um, the Stones, Eric Clapton. Um, do you have a favorite that's performed there? Um, maybe. I mean, uh, it can be like the animals, or, well, the Stones, obviously. And I think there was this band called The Birds. Uh, not to be confused with the American birds, uh, and they were brilliant. And there was uh, Ronnie Wood's first band, and uh, I, I think they were great. And uh, then they stopped um, playing, I think, in 1966, but they were brilliant. So if I have to pick up like uh, an obscure band, maybe that would be the birds. Yeah. It's absolutely brilliant. And what inspired you to make the film? Are you a music lover yourself? Yeah, definitely. So that in the first place, yeah, that's a little bit my background, like music in a way. So um, I'm not a good musician at all, but, you know, I've always been into music. And, uh, and of course, uh, you know, I'm trying to be a filmmaker, I think, at the same time. So these two passions kind of came together years ago because it took me like four years to put everything together. But it was kind of natural, I think. And... Um, yeah, so that, I was inspired by, by the story because I moved to Ealing in, in 2012 and I didn't know really anything about the place. And uh, so and it was like, wow, this is an incredible story. So let's try to make a movie. And, uh, you know, somehow I think I did it. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much, Giorgio. And best of luck with your film at the festival.